welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shay. I am a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app, and if you like thrift hauls or thrift-related things, don't forget to subscribe because I do tons and tons of them. Today's video is going to be a little haul. I'm going to show you a mix of spring trends and just regular spring fashion in general. Uh, if you guys missed it, last week I posted a video about all the spring trends that I like for this coming season. Uh, if you're interested in that, I will link it up here or down below, maybe both, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. So I'm going to start with the crochet trend. Now this trend I really like mostly because I crochet, so it's very easy for me to kind of create this stuff, but I think it's a really cool trend and I really like it. So I have this two piece set that I actually made and it has the granny squares and it's just a mini skirt and then the top is really really cute. It's like a bra top or a tube top style. Bra tops are also trending for the season so this is kind of like a double whammy. But I really like it. I thought it was really adorable. It came out really good and uh, it does hit that trend for the season. Okay. The next thing that I have to show you is also part of the crochet trend. This one is really, really adorable. It's just a crochet top. It has an orange lining, and it has a little bit of, like, pearl detail. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but... And it has this, like, granny square at the bottom. Really adorable. Slightly cropped. Really good with high-waisted jeans. And that one doesn't have any tag in it, but it is, I think, right around a size small. This top is also part of the crochet trend. This is American Eagle size medium. This is more of like a swing top. Really cute for the beach. It has like this tea back detail here. Really like that. And the next is going to be white. Tons and tons of white things were all over the runways, particularly white dresses. So I'm going to be on the lookout for that in the next couple of weeks while I'm thrifting. This is just a really cool top. This is by Mellow Day, which is a size medium. This is really, really pretty. It has this sort of like Victorian inspired ruffle at the front here. It's a little wrinkly, but that's what the back looks like there. I just really liked it. And also part of this white trend, I have this beautiful long Ann Taylor dress. This is new with tags. It is a size two. Somebody could totally wear this as a wedding dress. It's floor length. It has this beautiful texture to it. Very, very pretty. And it does tick off that trend. It's a little heavy for this hanger. And then lastly for the white trend, I have this really pretty gauzy cotton top. This is very bohemian. It has this really pretty like flowy sleeve. It has like a little like lace detail on it. This one doesn't have any tagging, but I believe it's right around a size medium to large. It's kind of like a free size. Very, very pretty. The next trend I'm going to show you is going to be stripes. Tons of striped things, particularly striped tops, striped like menswear button down style tops. But I think the trend is going to trickle down to everything else as well. This is by Rag and Bone, size 26. These are really, really adorable. These are like a linen short, but they are kind of like faded. They have this sort of like distressed bleach spot situation going on. I did check the tag and they actually are called the sun bleach shorts. So this is intentional. But they're really cute. They're nice and lightweight. And obviously they're rag and bone, which is a great resell uh, brand to pick up. So I highly recommend those. Next is going to be just a Target brand, Universal Thread. Size extra small. This is an oversized top. It's super duper soft. It has a beautiful lilac and white stripe. Really, really flowy. Perfect for spring. And then lastly, I have, oh, just kidding, I have two more. Again, this is J. Crew. This one is a size medium, but again, it's one of those button-down situations. This one's blue and white. Again, very, very soft. This is, like, not a true button-down. This is, like, a button-up. So it has, like, just the half button, and then the rest is really flowy. Very, very soft. Next is this top by Sanctuary. Again, stripes. This one was a size large. This is a t-shirt style button down and it has this like little tie detail here at the top or at the top. At the bottom. And then it has the cuff sleeves. This is really pretty. This brand is sold at Anthropology. Next trend is gonna be flare jeans. And if you've been watching my channel at all, you know that I am totally into this trend. I'm here for it. These are by BDG, which is sold at Urban Outfitters. These ones are the Mid-Rise Roadie Boot. They are a 2834, and these ones are really cool. They definitely have a flare. 
And then uh, the back just looks like that. Very cool. Perfect to style with like anything platform. Next is another pair. This brand, I can't believe I found this in the bins. This was an accident. This is AC for AG. So Alexander Chung for Adriana Goldsmead. And then they are a size 31. However, I did have these in my personal collection briefly, and these are not a 31. I have to tell you, they are more like a 26 to a 27. They are definitely on the small side, but they have this really great big flare at the bottom, and I really, really like it. And then they have the raw hem. So that was a good find. And then lastly for this trend, I have this pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These ones are a crop flare. So they are the uh, Lolita Shrunken Boot style. They are a size 12 or 31. That's the Lucky Brand tag if you've not seen it before. These are really cool. They're just a wash black and they have this sort of like released hem detail and they have like little splits. So very, very cool. This is perfect for spring. You want to like not quite wear shorts yet, but you want to have like a little bit more leg on show. They look really cute with any pair of shoes. Next is going to be the polka dot trend. I have already sold the other items that I've picked up recently for polka dots for this trend. So this is all I have to show you right now, but this is Forever 21 Plus. These are, uh, these are a 3X and they're adorable. Just a beautiful little pair of shorts. They have this like roughly hem at the bottom. Very, very cute. Alright, and then from here on out, I'm just sprinkling in the rest of what I have for trends for you guys, so I'll try to mention that as I go. Next is going to be a tank top by BB, size large. This is really 1970s. It has this, like, diamond detail at the front. This has a built-in bra, and that's what the back looks like there, and it's super duper soft. I think it's a cashmere or silk blend. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I remember seeing that on the tag. Next is just a graphic tee by Mighty Fine. This is an extra small, and it's just slightly cropped Smokey and the Bear. <laughs> or Smokey and the Bear. Smokey the Bear graphic. Very cool. It's like a yellowish cream color, and that's what the back looks like there. Next is going to be another trend. This is a Zara piece. It's a size small, and this is going to be the retro floral trend. Also, it ticks the box for yellow. Um, as a trend as well. Very, very pretty, just like a beautiful high neck tank top, very flowy. That's what the back looks like there. This is really great to wear with those flare jeans. Definitely a very 70s vibe as well. Next is going to be, uh, this one's kind of a trend people are on the fence about, but I really like it. It's going to be vests. So this is a vintage vest from the 1970s. This one is a size 8, and it's just, this one you could actually wear as a shirt because it buttons all the way up. It doesn't have like a low back or anything, so very cool. And this I would style with maybe a just a plain t-shirt or even a graphic tee would look cool with it. And they also look really good over dresses. Mini dresses are another trend. I didn't get to, I don't think I got any mini dresses this week, but that is definitely another trend. Next is going to be this Ruby Moon uh, sweater. It is a size medium. Really, really cool. It has this like frayed hem detail. And it is more of like a tunic style, so you could wear it with leggings. You could also wear it with bell bottoms. It would look really cool with bell bottoms as well. But it's very cool, very soft. I really like it for spring. Next is the new with tags, Free People. This is just the Free People race back tank. Uh, yeah, it's new with tags, so I was excited to find that in the Goodwill bins. Slightly oversized, just a classic one. Next is another trend, just yellow trend. We're seeing a lot of pale yellow for spring. This one is a American Eagle soft and sexy tank, size small, and it's slightly cropped. Very just basic, nice soft tank top. Next is vintage denim or Levi's in particular. These are the Levi 505 cropped. This is a reproduction of the orange tab. So these were sold at Urban Outfitters and I think on the Levi's website as well. But these are really cute. They are a reproduction of a classic 60s, 70s style. So I just like the wash on these. I actually bought them for myself, but they are too small. Uh, let's see. They were size 27. And they are 100% cotton. With Levi's in general, the rule of thumb is either you want to go up a size and then wash them and they shrink down, or you want to go exactly your size and then kind of break them in. 
Breaking them in can be a little rough. I, <laughs> the way I break them in is I will put them on and wear them around the house and like do a bunch of squats and stuff and then they sort of break in over time. But they're very, very rigid at first, but it's totally worth it once they kind of mold to your body. Next is another vintage piece. This one is a size small, really, really adorable button down mini skirt and it has pockets which is adorable. Where are they? Pockets. Pockets. And it is another trend. We're seeing tons and tons of plaid. This is kind of like a spring version of plaid because it is lighter colors. So I really like that. And it does have an elastic at the back, so it is very comfortable. And I think it's 100% cotton. It's like very thin cotton. It's like gauzy. Next is this Lucky Brand Kimono. I grabbed this just because it's very boho. It is really cool. It has this great southwestern pattern on the back. Well, really over the whole thing. But I just really liked it. It is one size. Next is another thing that kind of falls under that 1970s trend. This is a really cool tank top. It has a very 1970s pattern on it. Just kind of like slightly oversized. It has this like ruffle at the bottom, which is also trending. It is a size large, and then it has this like lace-up detail on the back, which I really thought was pretty. Next is this awesome vintage Komodo. This is by, this brand was really cool. It's called Golden Bee. I don't know if it's picking that up or not, but I just, I couldn't leave this behind. It's just so pretty. It has this beautiful embroidery on the back, and then the front just looks like that. I don't think it's real silk. It feels like it's synthetic, but who cares? I, it's beautiful. Next is going to be a Western trend. This is another Zara piece. It's a size large. This is actually a western top, so it has this really cool western embroidery up at the front. It has this sort of like pointed collar, which is very 1970s, and then it has this contrast piping, which looks really cool. And it's slightly cropped, so it looks really good with high-waisted things, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Next is a really great vintage Levi's jacket. This is a size men's extra large. This is another trend we're seeing a ton of corduroy. Corduroy was everywhere in the 1960s and 70s, and it's coming back. So this is just a great oversized trucker jacket, the classic Levi's jacket. And that's what the back looks like there. Now, I honestly think that Levi's are unisex. You could wear any style, any cut, whether you're a woman or a man. So... Always good to pick up. Here's another American Eagle. This is just a romper. It's a size small. Very cute. Just great for spring. Good spring staple. And that's what the back looks like there. Next is another cool thing I found. These are great. I really like this star print. Star print was really big last year, and I think we're still going to continue to see it. This pair is by Target, actually. This is a size 14 or 32. Very cool. High rise shorts. And then that's what the back looks like. I actually found this exact pair, new with tags, in my size a couple weeks ago, which is so weird. But I'm totally keeping them for myself because I was totally bummed that that pair didn't fit me. So I was very excited. This is a sweatshirt by Madewell. It's Miles by Madewell. I haven't done any research on that yet. I'm not sure if it's a subline or what, but it is a size small, and I just thought it was cute. It's slightly cropped. It is a nice blush pink color, and it has this, like, button-up detail right up here at the top, and this looks like it's brand new. I don't think it's been worn. So, and it's a really nice thick cotton. Whoops! Next is this bathing suit. It is a boutique brand. I'm not going to try to explain what the brand says because I can't really read it, but it's new with tags. It's a size extra large, and it just has this really cool always on vacation on the front. This is really 90s. It has the high cut sort of like, it goes like up to your hip front part, and then the back just looks like that. It's just a scoop back. Next is this great torrid top. This is a 1X, just your basic chambray top, but I really like the color of it. It's nice and soft, and I love picking up torrid anytime I find it in good condition. It sells really well for me. Next is a pair of page shorts. These are the Jimmy Jimmy shorts. They are a size 27. They are really nice. They're very soft. Their denim is really soft. And that's what the back looks like there, and they just have a classic cuff on them. Next is a really cool piece. This is an Old Navy piece. I believe it's a large. It is a large. This is hard to show on camera, but 
It is a jumpsuit and it has these like great wide legs, but they're cropped and then the back is smocked. So this is really comfortable, really great for a hot day. Looks really good with like a pair of wedges. I would totally style it with wedges, but I just really liked it. So I grabbed it. And then lastly for clothing, I have this J. Jill linen dress, size medium. It says love linen on it. And I just really thought it was very pretty. It is like a nice creamy sort of blue color. And it has this really cool like button detail at the bottom here. It also has pockets as well as buttons at the back. So I thought that that would be a good sell for spring. A lot of people really look for it. It's nice and breathable. So I highly recommend grabbing that when you see it. Next I have some shoes and accessories. This is a really cool basket bag. I just really loved it. It's round. It needs to be steamed. It's like rigid. But it has this cute little like button here. It doesn't have any tagging on it, but I just thought it was really cool. Oh. Next I have this awesome pair of uh, Doc Martens. This is, let's see, the Jergo, I think is how you pronounce it, style. They are a size 9. They're really cool. They're like a clog style, and they have the big buckles. Obviously 100% leather. The Doc Martin is on the bottom. And these ones are a specific line that they do. I double checked because usually, obviously, on Doc Martens, the stitching is yellow. But these ones are black. And I was like, oh, did I accidentally grab ones that were fakes? Because that happens. And so I did a little bit of research and I looked on their website and they do carry black stitching. So these are actually legitimate, which is great because these are going to be a quick sell, I think. Next is going to be this great pair of Giorgio Armani shoes. These are men's shoes. I think they're a size 10. I have to do a little bit of research on the sizing um, because Italian sizing is slightly different. So, but they're really cool. They're like linen. I couldn't leave them behind. Obviously, they're Giorgio Armani. Next is a vintage pair of Fry boots. The, well, they're like boot shoes. I don't know how to describe these. They're really cool anyway. They are 100% leather made in Mexico. They are a size 9. And they have the, let me see. They have the fry on the bottom, which is really cool, and they're stamped inside fry as well. But they do have a little bit of wear on them. It's probably showing up on camera already, but you can see that, like, sort of orangey tone. I think it's actually from the sole, but, and they do need to be conditioned. They're a little bit stiff, but I thought that somebody would want them anyway. They're just really cool, and they're that great bone color, so. All right, two more things, and then we are done for this haul. This is a pair of platform shoes. These are by Eldo. I thought these were really cool. These are just like a hair too small for me. They were I was going to keep them, but they just didn't fit. So they are a size 6, and this is what they look like. They have a python print, which I thought was really cool, and then they're in really good condition. I did clean them up a little bit. The bottoms have, like, some dirt or whatever, but, you know, they're shoes. So, and then last but not least, my last trend is going to be cowboy boots. Cowboy boots, we've been hearing whispers and people talking about cowboy boots being more and more popular lately, and I've definitely noticed an uptick in them. I've been picking them up. I think they're selling really well. These are vintage to uh, Tommy Llama. Tony Llama? Tony Llama. Uh, they are a size six and a half women's, and they are really cool. They have this sort of like, I think it's either python or alligator on the front. They are real leather. And they have this really cool detail. They're kind of like two-toned. And then that's what the bottom looks like there. They do have a little bit of scuffing on the toe cap, but nothing major. And I honestly think that that gives them kind of more character. So I'm excited to sell those. And that's going to be it for this haul, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope that you like some of these trends that we're going to be seeing. And uh, if you did, don't forget to like down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!